Hey everyone, welcome back to another Magic World. Today we're creating pot. Not the drug, but the flower pot. Okay, so this is just a generic looking flower pot. That's what they basically all look like, except for like a few exceptions, I guess. But they all look exactly the same, basically. You know, just generic thing with the rim right there. Alright, so let's go and make one. So I'm going to create a cylinder, and I'm going to maybe make this a bit bigger. So I'm going to just do a bit flipping back and forth. But it looks like it kind of will go in a little bit. So let's select all the bottom vertices and maybe drag that in to about there. And now what I want to do is I'm also actually, before we go any further, I'm going to extrude into this pot. See how this pot kind of has... You know, it's not super huge like this, so I'm going to just bevel this by going to Edit Mesh and Bevel, or just clicking on that right there. Select this face, I'm going to drag that out a little bit, and then I'm going to extrude this in. Okay, press R to scale this in a little bit. Go with my wireframe by pressing 4, and alright. Go back to shading by pressing 5, and that looks like crap so far, but it will get better. Um, let's add an edge loop by just clicking on the multi-cut tool right here and holding down control. Just do a fast version of a edge loop and just put one down there. That way when we smooth it, it helps keep the object's shape better of the bottom. And maybe I'll, let's see, maybe I'll select this vertex right here, double this. Oops. Select this face, press R, extrude that out a bit to there, and then go to Edit Mesh and Poke Face. Okay, so yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's get working on the top area, um, and I'm going to put an edge loop for this kind of rim thing. It looks to be a pretty big, so maybe put one about, about here. Okay, then I'm going to select all those surrounding faces, so I'm going to click on this one, and then hold down shift and double click on that one and it should select all the ones around and let's see looks like we will just simply extrude this out so I'm just gonna control E and then pull on the blue Z axis maybe it's a bit big maybe about there press Q to stop this and look at that we're getting better at our flower pot when we smooth it, it kind of still looks bad, so let's define the edges a bit more. I'm going to double click on all that edge right there, which will select all the surrounding edges. And I'm just going to click on this to bevel them. Put maybe this frag uh, segments up a little bit. Then put this in a little bit to 0.1. So now that when we smooth that, it helps keep that, you know, have it not going flat in. And I want to keep this at the top a bit better. So I'm going to add an edge loop about there, and then maybe, uh, let's see, it's not letting, there we go, why is it being weird, just put it one there, and I want it to be lower, I'm just going to drag that down, okay, we should probably poke this face, so I'm going to go to edit mesh, poke, and now press R again, as you can see, it's looking way better, but I kind of want this top to be a bit more defined. So I'm going to add another edge loop there, and that, to here, and actually no. There are no sharp edges in real life, so I'm going to bevel both of these. Of course you can make a lower poly one, but this would just be simply for rendering something where you wouldn't care. So I'm going to press R, and as you can see, Alright, sorry about that. So now we're gonna um, actually smooth this. So I'm gonna click on this, make sure to press 1 so that you are on the default view. Go to Mesh, Smooth, and then I'm gonna put the divisions up to like 3. Okay. It's just a flower pot, we don't need that many polygons. Um, this is a, also this is a high poly one, but this is mainly just for rendering something. You can always just lower everything I've done if you want to keep it lower. But, um, alright, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to add an Arnold texture to this. I'm just going to click on this. Go to Assign New Material. Um, Arnold Shader. AI Standard Surface. And do the preset of clay, wherever it is. Here it is. Place. Okay, so we can always change the color. 
I don't exactly like that color, but let's just see how that looks. But actually, first, we need the lights because if we render this right now, it'll just be completely black. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna press D or W first, and then D, and then snap this to the most bottom vertice there is, and then um, put this grid on, and then press W again, hold down V, and then s oops, snap that to there. Okay, you can hold down X to snap um, onto the grid lines. And then I'm going to create a plane and make this pretty big. Um, and let's assign a Lambert to this and maybe make it like, I don't know, who cares? Maybe make it kind of gray. I don't care. Let's go to Arnold Lights and maybe like a, a physical sky or something like that. And let's position this. Oops. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit render. And we're going to see what this looks like. You can always change colors. Alright, that looks pretty cool actually. Um, why don't we change something up a little bit, just in case you want to. And you don't know how, so I'm going to go back into my attribute editor. Focus, AI, standard surface, one. And then I want to make that color bit more clayish. So maybe maybe more kinda like like that, you know what I mean? Actually that's kind of a bad example. Should be a different color. But that's okay. And how about we try a different light maybe? Let's try a light um, skydome. Let's just see how this would make a difference. Skydome is basically just a giant sphere that um, sends lights everywhere. Okay, so that is basically a pot right there. Um, it's pretty druggy looking. Um, looks pretty awesome. I mean, that's just a generic pot. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe.